After nearly three decades, Queensland's longest-serving MP, Lauren Springborg, is quitting state politics. The 48-year-old has announced he won't stand for re-election in his seat of Southern Downs in Queensland South. While Mr Springborg led his party to three election losses, he'll long be remembered as father of the LNP. It's the end of an era. One day after celebrating 27 years in state politics, Lawrence Springborg is calling it a day. The announcement he wouldn't stand at the next election was typically low-key, coming only in the form of a statement saying, I know it is time to close this chapter and move on to the next one, whatever that may be. Lawrence Springborg was elected to Parliament in 1989 at the tender age of 21. The young farmhand from the Darling Downs rose through the Conservative ranks and by 2003 he was State National's leader. He led the party to three election defeats, 2004, 2006 and 2009. Some things aren't meant to be and certainly that's been the situation for myself. One of my enduring regrets is that uh, I was never able to be part of a team that managed to get Lawrence elected as, as Premier of Queensland. I, I think Lawrence will go down as the, as the best Premier that Queensland uh, never ever had. In 2011, he and John Paul Langbrook stood aside to make way for Campbell Newman, who was parachuted in from outside the parliamentary wing. Mr Springborg wasn't happy. It is against Westminster Convention and it's a very, very dangerous precedent. But he went on to serve loyally as Health Minister, regarded by many as calm and efficient, apart for the missteps in the closing of the Barrett Adolescent Mental Health Centre. I think Mr Springball goes out with an enormous amount of respect from both sides of the House. Despite vowing years before to never lead the party again, the disastrous election loss in 2015 changed his mind. It was short-lived. His lasting legacy is sure to be as the man who brought the Liberal and National parties together. But I think his uh, enduring legacy will be, the, uh, will be the LNP. Ironically, his resignation comes days after talk the merger is on shaky ground amid the rise of other Conservative forces. He'll be taking with him his own personal following. Uh, you'd expect One Nation to, to put in a very good showing and everyone sh no one should be surprised if One Nation comes near the top of the poll in that, in that electorate. The timing has also prompted speculation Mr Springborg could be eyeing a move to Canberra, following rumours Senator George Brandis is weighing up his future. But Mr Springborg has told the ABC he won't comment on those rumours. Daya Clark, ABC News.